Are you a doggy? <laughs> That was very responsible. I don't think I could relax when my brain waves were being measured. I sleep until eight. That is late. Mm -hmm. Does it feel good to sleep so much? Mm -hmm. Do you want some breakfast? Yeah. was the last one up. You were sleeping good. So during this time of year, there's a lot of fireworks that go off, and I was telling the kids how one time a fireworks show, all the fireworks went off at the, at the same time I was showing them. This was in San Diego. <laughs> Just a big explosion. <laughs> and then it was over. Someone awake? Do you have an owie on your finger? Yeah, it. Hey, do you want to go play with friends today? Yeah, two minutes. For two minutes? Yeah. We could play with friends for two hours if you want. Okay. Here, wait, I'm gonna brush your teeth real quick. So one thing I want to remember about Janae is her incredible memory. Last night when I was putting her to bed, I couldn't find the toothbrush and toothpaste and I was like, Janae, do you know where it's at? And we often ask her about stuff like that. She knew exactly where she was. She's like, it's on mom's bed. And we had put it there like 12 hours earlier, but she remembered. You knew where the toothbrush was. Oh, mom, the oh. movie's bed. You got a spit? Bye bye, Bink. You leave the baby and Binky in the crib. She is. Did you decide to put Laura's shoes on? Yeah. One, three, eight, nine, two. Wow. Janae loves playing with toy cars. <laughs> Nene, you want a smoothie? No, thank you, Dad. Okay. Nana, you want to roll? No, thank you. No, thank you. You're so pleasant. <coughs> Nana's a little sad because she had my chapstick, and that's something she sometimes likes to eat, draw with, and get all over. So I took it away from her, and she was a little bit sad, and we got her binky. I'm seeing if I can find some food she wants. Do you want some yogurt? So our plans this morning were to go bike riding with our friends and then the forecast showed rain. So we decided to instead go to a children's museum. We're actually taking the streetcar. Then we're driving down here and the weather was gorgeous. And I was like, man, it's not even gonna rain. And now it's raining. But before we actually made it to the museum, so I didn't bring an umbrella. We're waiting in the car for the streetcar because it's raining. There's the streetcar stop over there, that blue thing. Yeah, we're not standing in the rain. Janae, what's going on? Why don't you go raining? It's raining. What does rain do? Well, does it get me? Does it get you all wet? Yeah. Rain goes away from Is it fun? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Three, three, two, one, it's down. Okay. I think that was like the wettest part of the day. Now we get to spend our whole day. Yes, we do. Caleb, you are drenched. My friend has one umbrella and she let Janae and I borrow it. So maybe there's some length of dryness somewhere. Is this fun? Yeah. I'm drenched. You are. Like your clothes, like you might as well have just gotten in the shower. Yeah. I feel like they just went on splash mountain in the front row. I swear the rain got worse just as we were getting on. It's only drizzling now. Oh, funny. So the streetcar here in Kansas City is relatively new. We've never ridden it before, but it's a great option to be able to park and ride to locations downtown, and it's easy and simple and really fun for the kids. Is this a bus stop? Yeah. Yeah, you're on a bus, like the wheels on the bus song. Her eyes are going, oh. The wheels on the bus. Here's our stop. We're gonna make a run for that door, okay, Laura? Yeah. Oh, 
Thanks, Preston. We made it. Here's a little tip. Make friends in life with awesome people who aren't scared to take nine kids through the rain to fun places with you. Is this so pretty? Yeah, I need food. You need food? Are you hungry? I brought you some snacks. Yay! Union Station is an amazing landmark here in downtown Kansas City, and we've been here for lots of events over the years. Today, we're headed to the Science Museum. Did they make some changes? Yeah. Isaac and Preston in a UFO. Janae, you gonna go down the slide? Yeah. You're driving. This is like a giant game of Simon. I love that game. So I attempted to come without a stroller today because she's getting to the stage where she just really doesn't want to be in the stroller anyway, but now she's running off. Luckily we're with a big group and she likes to stick by the kids for the most part. Science City is packed today, but I found a room that is great for Janae. Oh, being so careful. Yeah, Janae's being so careful. Janae's helping build. It's just a little bit hard for her to hold on to. Are you a doggy? Is this your doggy house? I think they're trying to relax their brains. It's tracking their brain activity. So this is a mind game where you strap the headband onto your forehead and it's reading your brain activity somehow. Anyway, you relax and stay calm and whoever stays the calmest by like the readings wins. I don't think I could relax when my brain waves were being measured. The big kids got a hold of the foam. See what they build. Now apparently they're playing that the floor is lava while they're trying to collect the pieces while they're trying to build something. The masterpiece is completed. Have you ever done it? No, this is my first time. How are you feeling? A little bit scared. The weight holding down here makes it so you can't tip over. I guess we do kind of get to ride a bike today. Yep, in the sky. Lisa's going up. Was it scary? No. Isaac's up next. There he goes. Oh, he's riding fast. You've officially ridden a bike in the sky. Once you got out there, were you scared or did you feel really safe? No, not really. Like, it, you feel pretty safe. Like, you can rock to the side and you don't fall. Zip line. Go ahead, you climb in. Wet. Is it still a little wet? That was hard. Love zip lines? <laughs> ah! Our kids love zip lines. I think it's because it reminds them of Papa's cabin. The kids are loving this. It is a full-time job keeping track of them all. My favorite moment was the three minutes we got to sit down on a bench and actually talk. The dino dig zone. You dig in, Janae? Janae found a bus. The water area is always my favorite. It's so fun, but the kids always get wet too. We're really enjoying going to some wonderful places here in Kansas City where we have so many memories, but the best part of being here or anywhere is the people and our friends here. Man, I love them. Are you tired? Wow. 
We're back on the streetcar. It is not raining, which is awesome, and we are headed to eat some lunch. But I think this girl wishes we were headed for a nap. Everybody on. Okay, we got off the streetcar because there's a restaurant right here where we can eat that has some gluten-free options, and we are hungry. We're going inside of where Dad used to work? Yes, the first law firm Jeremy worked at when we lived here was up there somewhere. What's the best part of Jason's Deli? There's free ice cream for everybody. Isaac went with the chocolate vanilla swirl. Caleb went with just vanilla. That was very responsible. Good job. We made it back to the car and home to quiet time. Well, now that the kids are back, they're having quiet time and they're all reading books. <laughs> Laura has been writing around so well. I'm so proud of her. I'm doing a around the world basketball with um, Marvel characters. Like imagining it? Yeah, and I drafted them into eight different teams, and then they're gonna be doing tournaments. I love when you use your imagination. I was jumping, it was slippery, so I slipped my leg into the, you know, the whole thing of the trampoline mm -hmm. on the sides. I put my whole leg in there. Whoa. And I slowly put it out. So that's a bruise. Yeah. Ouch. It hurt. <laughs> Did it you hurt. cry? Only a little. Only a little, that's okay. So your foot went through? Yeah. Um, and guess what happened to me? Did you bunk your chin? Against your tree and it felt like there was a bump on my chin. When you guys play hard, sometimes injuries come. I love you girls. Sleep well tonight, okay? All right, let's hop in bed. Lay down. Love you guys. I'm gonna go put Janae down. This is our new read aloud. It's called Half Magic by Edward Eager. You guys ready for the new book? Yeah. Chapter one, how it began. Good night. Out. So much excitement. Why are you so excited? We're getting distracted. She's doing it! 